Now we are coming to the installation of the ResuPrime products. You can see the package contents on the left side of the slide. As already mentioned, there are two battery modules inside, a battery control unit, a module connecting plate, and then there are module supports, standing bracket, spacers, bolts of different types, adapters, caps, a manual, and a drill template and cable tiles. For the installation, you have to organize the tools for installation by yourself. These are precision screwdriver, torque wrench, inclinometer, tape measure, pencil or marker, and a drill. For your personal protection, you have also to organize insulated gloves, safety goggles, and safety shoes. Furthermore, you need a smartphone with Android version 9 or higher for the installation of the battery to connect it with the Internet. On this slide, we want to give you some information about the storage temperature ranges for the Resu Prime series. The operating temperature is from minus 10 degrees to plus 50 degrees. The storage temperature is much more broader and is depending on the time for the application of these temperature ranges. You see, the biggest one is from minus 30 to plus 60 degrees if the time of storage is less than 7 days. For longer periods such as 6 months or 12 months, the storage temperature ranges are shortened. The humidity range is from 5 to 95%. The ingress rating is always IP55. For the installation location, the requirements are as follows. There must be no highly flammable or explosive materials nearby. The ambient temperature should be within the range of minus 10 degrees to plus 50 degrees. The battery pack must be installed on flat leveled ground that can support its weight. The product shall be installed indoors or outdoors on an eve and out of direct sunlight. The product shall not be installed in an airtight enclosure or in an area without adequate airflow to support natural air convection cooling. On this slide we will show you some information how to lift the different battery components and also we will give you some advice about the minimum clearances you should adapt in your installation. On the left side you see pictures of the battery control unit and the battery modules and the position of the inter integrated handles where you can put in your hands to transport and lift the components. On the right side you see the clearances in millimeters for the distance from the battery to the ceiling and the distance from the battery to inverters or from the battery to a wall. On this slide we want to mention a precaution for solar edge installations. For the moment all Resu 16H Prime batteries need to be updated for the DC-DC firmware. Please check that you have the newest firmware before you start the installation. In the following slides we will inform you about the precautions which you have to take into account for the installation. LG Energy Solution will point out the items to be checked with care during pack installation process. The overall pack installation process can be checked in the installation manual and in the installation video. LG Energy Solutions strongly recommends to read the full installation manual. In the package, there are spacers made of carton. Pay attention to the direction of the spacer. Refer to the left image for correct orientation. The spacer will be removed after the assembly of the battery modules. Do not use anchors, the bolts, to fix the module connect plates to the floor. Be careful not to damage the aluminium foil attached to the bottom of the module's connect plate during handling. In this chart, we are explaining the fixation of the Resu Prime battery to the wall. To do so, 
Please use the drill trim plate, which is part of the packaging. Please use the drill template and fix it to the wall as shown in the picture on the left side. Then pre-tighten the fasteners on the standing bracket number one. The fasteners will be fully tightened in a later step. After the assembly of battery control unit, pre-tighten the standing bracket 2 on battery control unit and the standing bracket 1 using 6 M6 bolts. After that, fully tighten all bolts and fasteners on the standing bracket 1 and the standing bracket number 2. With this slide we want to show you how you place correctly the battery modules to each other. This is a very important step in order to prevent the wrong polarity. First, place battery module B to the back of the module connect plate. Then place battery module A with the back side facing battery B. The rear side of each battery module should face each other. Even if battery module AB looks identical, you can easily check out the difference based on serial number. Check the label to confirm the battery pack is of A. The label is attached on the left side of the battery module. In the following slides we want to show you how you correctly connect the battery control unit on top of the two battery modules. After removing the warning labels from the battery modules, place a spacer on the position marked with labels on the battery modules. Place a battery control unit on top of the spacers and align it with the battery modules. Be carefully not to break the connector between the spacers and the battery control unit. Now we come to the procedure to connect the battery control unit with the two modules. For this purpose, connect the power and sensor connectors on the right and left sides. Assemble the connectors until you hear a click. After that, lock the power connector by pressing TPA, that the terminal position assurance. The next couple of steps are necessary to check whether the battery control unit is probably connected to the battery modules. Therefore, first, hold and turn the handle contact clockwise. Open the front cover and turn on the circuit breaker switch. If there's no problem with assembly, the LED power indicator will turn on. 60 seconds later, the LED fault indicator will blink. This will happen due to a lack of communication with the inverter, not due to a product defect. Then turn off the circuit breaker switch. Then close the front cover and turn the handle counterclockwise. After that, double check the alignment of battery control unit and remove the spacer one by one by lifting one side of battery control unit. Be careful not to pull on the cables by lifting the battery control unit. This slide refers to the finalization of the connection of the battery control unit with the battery modules. After proceeding bolt and standing bracket assembly, Assemble the adapter or cap according to regional regulations. Then insert the RMD Ethernet cable through hole number 2 and connect the cable. Then proceed with the chapter Installation for Remote Monitoring Device. Regarding the power communication cables, connect the cables according to the application. Arrange the power communication cables separately using cable ties. For the battery Resu10H Prime, you have two possibilities of installation. One is a standing type and the other one is a wall mounting type. Therefore, the drill template of the Resu10H Prime is double sided. So please be careful and look to the text on the middle of the template. Choose the right side of the template to make the right installation.